There's only one way to introduce this physics desk toy. It's called a prism cube, or a dichroic prism, or trichroic prism, and I'll explain why in just a second. Before we explain how this desk toy works, let me know in the comments below what is your favorite desk or fidget toy. Whenever you turn the lights down low, and you shine a light through it, you get all these brilliant colors. All right, enough, but how does this thing actually work? Well, if you look closely at it, what you'll see is some clues. You'll see some different colors getting reflected at you. And if you look at the top or bottom, you'll notice a faint X in it. And that X is showing you where the filter lines are that make up this prism. Visible light is made up of different frequencies ranging from just after infrared to just short of ultraviolet. Now if we put a filter along the diagonal of the cube, say a blue dichroic filter, where it's gonna reflect blue, but let the other frequencies pass by, what you'll see is a blue light shooting out the side and the rest of the frequencies just going on by. Now, if we go and put another filter along the other diagonal, say an orangish reddish filter, what it's gonna do is shoot blue out one side, it's gonna reflect orangish red out the other side, and then the rest of the frequencies will go through, which is green. And that's how we get the split of different colors. This is why it's called a dichroic cube or trichroic cube because it's using those filters to split it into three different colors, RGB, red, green, and blue. And this is used sometimes in projectors or cameras or different things like that. Now there's more things that you can do with it because you may have noticed other colors shooting out from it as it was turned. There are other colors because whenever you turn it, there are a lot of things happening within that cube. There's refraction going on where the speed of light changes because of the different material, making it go at a slightly different angle when it comes in there. And it's gonna bounce in between these different segments or these different triangles and there's different filters that it's hitting at these different angles and that's when I get you all these crazy colors at these different angles. As far as desk toy and fidget toys are concerned, this thing will look great in just about any environment and it will also look great in a professional setting. Just make sure you're not dropping it so it doesn't chip and break on you. And also it will not make any sounds as long as you're not dropping it. To get the coolness factor, you're gonna want to do something a little bit more than just looking at it and looking at those little glints of color that come off of it naturally. You're gonna want to get either a light, such as a little pin light, or a big flashlight that can get you these colors that are gonna come off of it. Or if you can place it somewhere near a window, we're gonna get the sun coming up in the morning or in the afternoon going down, that is just gonna spray those colors all over the place and give you some really interesting things to look at. To prevent confusion, I do think it's important to understand there are some different cubes out there other than just the prism cube. There is the crystal cube, which is just clear glass or clear crystal, and that's gonna give you kind of different optical effects as you look through it. It's gonna reflect white light around, and you might be able to make a rainbow off of it, but it's pretty much just clear white light that's gonna come out of it. And then there's something called the C and Y cube. These are pretty popular as well, and they have different color coatings on them of cyan, magenta, and yellow. And that's gonna allow these colors to mix and give you different combinations as you play with it. It is pretty mesmerizing. This one doesn't need a light source behind it to really appreciate it quite as much, but it's not really a true prism like the prism cube that we're talking about here. I'll make sure to drop a link to each of these in the description below so you can check them out for yourself.